Welcome back, folks. Happy Valentine's Day once again. Our main weather is brought to you by Diversified Ink Tattoo Studio in Penobscot Plaza in Bangor, providing custom ink by licensed artists for over 20 years. And get ready, snow, snow, come our way, right? We definitely need it, especially here in town and just south, right by the coast. We're looking at pretty much nothing on the ground. For now, though, Midwest, Upper Midwest, same story, getting in on some snow showers, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and then into Northern Illinois. That's going to come our way though we still got to wait just a little bit longer at least 36 hours until that snow comes our way for now though we're seeing some decreasing clouds here in our region and then we're going to continue to stay mainly clear overnight tonight by thursday looking pretty good look what happens overnight by early friday morning that's when that snow starts to arrive it's really going to take over most of the region same story right by the coast we are looking at snow mainly all over maine and of course you got to go offshore to get into some rain showers, but we're going to have a lot of cold air this time. So, of course, all of this will be snow even by the coast. How much are we going to get, right? That's the main question. Well, we are looking at a widespread one and a half to three and a half, four inches of snow. Let's say a solid one and a half to four inches of snow all over the region. The least accumulation, you got to go well up north, north of Millinocket area, of course, Caribou. You are not in in luck this time. You're going to be just to the north of this uh, quick clipper system moving by, but the coast though, you're going to see a lot of snow as well. The winds though, very, very breezy. Check out Machias, 17 mile an hour sustained winds right now. Bar Harbor, Rockland, same story. You got to go up north. Bangor, of course, here, and then Millinocket area, 22 degrees. These are sustained winds, folks. Of course, these wind gusts are much, much stronger than that, up to even 35 miles an hour in some spots. Spots. We're going to continue to see that overnight tonight, even by early tomorrow morning, we're going to see some really gusty winds. It's going to be improving, though, by tomorrow afternoon, then by Friday morning, it's going to be much better. We're just going to see some light breezes at around 20 miles per hour. Now, temperature wise, I feel like we've been saying this all winter long. This is probably going to be the warmest winter on record in the United States. We still have a quite a way to go. Two months, I'd say. But for now, though, it's been very, very warm. And it's continuing to stay warm. That push of warmer air made its way all the way up north into the upper Midwest, Chicago, near 50 degrees earlier today. That's not normal. We should be in those upper 30s in Chicago. Our average high is around 31. We're going to stay near average to slightly below this week. And then by middle of next week, warmer air moves in. For tonight, though, temperatures in the teens, decreasing clouds. It's going to be windy. That feels like temperature is going to be near zero. For tomorrow, though, temperatures near freezing, mostly sunny skies. Our extended forecast outlook does show snow in the area on Friday, and then we stay cold the rest of this week.